what is up guys, it's Double Inning, and ooh, right off the bat, Blitzcrank gets the pull off on Leona, and we're getting those, oh, at least it hits the Miracle Q, but it's not going to be quite enough, but it does blow Flesh, and that's why invading, and Silver Elo, Slash Bronze Elo, Slash Gold Elo, Slash Pot Elo, Slash Diamond Elo, it's pretty much always good. Um, which is going to, uh, be my little introduction to this video, which is how to get out of Bronze Slash Silver, um, this is my... I lost my promotions actually from silver one to gold five, and I was kind of uh, I was kind of taken aback a bit a bit. You know, I had to kind of take my own advice here because uh, you know I'm always telling you guys not to really be put on tilt by you know uh, losing games, but I had some pretty frustrating games because I thought it was going to be like wham bam thank you ma'am see you silver it's been nice knowing you but. Um, I'm actually in my second promotion right now. Um, I'm two and two in that promotion. You guys will see uh, my most uh, recent game that put me at two and two. It was a uh, it was a doozy for sure. But uh, this one, this game is a, a pretty pretty quick game, um, and so you're just gonna what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna shut down Rengar really early, and then I'm gonna carry that throughout um, throughout the game. Um, and this is just, you know, Darius shutting down uh, shutting down a lane and then trying to uh, push that advantage across the rest of the map. Uh, so, some couple things I wanted to talk about, um, since, you know, you can pretty much see what I'm doing here. Um, and if there's anything I need to elaborate on, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to do that. Um, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much. I just hit 11,000 subscribers, and that's, like... So freaking cool! I remember, uh, um, you know, I still remember, you know, back when I got my first 300 subscribers or so, and uh, I realized that this is actually one of the moments I wanted to cover. So, all right, um, I don't have a ward in this bush, but Lee Sin, this is something that all junglers should be doing. You should always, pretty much, always be coming top level three um, if your lane is pushed. As your, like, if you're the jungler um, and your lane is pushed up top, you should still come because their jungler is going to come. I hit him with the outer edge of my Q, hit him with the pull, I'm going to hit that uh, W, and then the bleed is going to be able to kill him, but the auto attack was enough. Uh, new puppies barking in the background, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but, um, so that's going to get me double buff, and that's going to super secure the lane, and that's all because Lee Sin uh, decided to come up, even though I was pushed, knowing that um, purple side is going to, junglers are generally going to start blue and head their way up, just because that's where bot lane is, um, I flash in. Probably could have uh, stayed off the aggression for just a little bit of time there, just because um, I did have double buff. Um, so trading one for one there wasn't entirely worth it, but I put it in all chat that it was worth. So I mean, therefore it's worth. It. Uh, my first back, I go ahead and get Ninja Tabai, and you guys might be wondering why I decided to do that. I actually was able to see that um, he got a double longsword because uh, if you look at their. Uh, um, if uh, an enemy buys uh, items while their I think while their dead body is in sight, like you can see where they where, where they uh, where they died, uh, you can actually see what item they buy. So um, I figured that getting a little bit of movement speed would actually be pretty good against Rengar, just because I am uh, I have secured an advantage and I want to be able to um, uh, chase up on him once I hit six because I knew I was going to hit six before him. And I knew it was going to be basically a free kill because that's what Rengar is. And uh, I knew I didn't need any damage because he didn't buy any tankiness. If he would have went like uh, Doran's Blade or something like that, I probably would have also gotten a Doran's Blade. Um, you know, and if he would have gotten uh, just like health, uh, maybe I would have gotten, um, I wouldn't have gotten a Ninja Tabai. But since he did get uh, damage there, I wanted to counter him. So um, I went and got Ninja Tabai. Looking back though, I probably could have gotten um, Boots and like a Chain Vest, and it would have been. Uh, pretty much the same just because I don't need as much movement speed as I got. So right here, you, you, it's going to look uh, a little bit like I'm getting baited there, and that's exactly what I want it to look like. Um, I knew how close I was to 6. I knew exactly what I needed. If you guys look here, um, I'll show you guys uh, the XP I was at. So I'm literally just about to hit it, so that's why I hit that creep, because I knew if I hit that creep and then I queued, I was going to be able to hit 6, level up, and ult him and get the kill there. So um, there was no real danger there for me. Um, I'm pretty good at recognizing uh, Rengar's uh, power levels. Um, you know, I've played 100 plus Rengar games. Um, so now I'm just gonna. Oh, so, okay. So, ooh, baby. Okay. Never ever give up when you get ganked. Um, of course, you know you don't want to blow summoners if you don't need to. But luckily, I don't have any summoners here. I have 
160 health, we'll say. Jarvin's coming in. So what do I do? I know the only way he's going to catch up to me, because if you look, he doesn't have red buff. The only way he's going to catch up to me is if he hits me with this combo. He's only level 4, so he's not going to hit that hard. Bam. I know he's going to instant flag toss, so I instantly duck to the right, because every Jarvan does their combo instantly. So then I'm just able to walk away, and I live, and I was literally just like so ecstatic. But if you see there, the Ninja Tabai really paying off. Because it gave me enough movement speed that I was able to sidestep there. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to get two long swords. Um, I'm going to be building this toward a brutalizer. I think this game I actually go uh, Black Cleaver Darius, um, which I mean I've been trying out. Uh, I've been playing a bunch of different like uh, tanky uh, fighter champions, you know, Renekton, uh, Darius, um, Rengar, and I've been tr trying to see like you know which ones I like uh, Hydron better and which ones I like. Um, Black Cleaver on better, so um, he actually did pull him even though he was uh, dropping into stealth there, so that was pretty cool, but uh, I guess, I think it was in this game our Blitz was just like, well, I don't like uh, my AD carry, so I'm going to roam, which I mean, whatever, you know, if if that's how you want to play it, then that's fine, especially if you have Ezreal, it's like, what's, I mean, Ezreal can just farm no matter what, he's got his Q. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to continue to push the lane here. Um, at this point, sometimes I would try and starve out Rengar, but the thing is, Rengar actually can roam really, really well. So instead, I'm just going to keep trying to kill him. Uh, what The reason he went back in there is he, re he knew he was going to die. I put Ignite on him, and I had my bleed stacks going, so he decided to get a little bit of damage here to hopefully uh, allow J4 to come kill me. Watch this. I'm going to get him with the outer edge of my Q here. Get the kill, and then Ruin's going to come. I thought it was really funny because that was twice in a row that I had thwarted J4, but Riven wasn't taking any chances there. She ults, then gets hit by the Golem a few times because this is silver. Oh my gosh, she got hit by the Golem way more than I thought she did. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Rengar comes in, gets himself double buffs because Lisa uh, uh, made a small uh, mistake areno there. Um, so I get my Brutalizer, but I, you know, don't make the mistake of going full damage, because Rengar could blow me up if I went full damage. You know, you always have to respect um, the ability of the other laner. And look at that Outer Edge Q damage from that Brutalizer. Holy shnikes! Um, so I get myself a Giant Spell, and, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of continue to thrash around this Rengar for a little bit. Um, and you're also going to see, uh, I buy a lot of wards. In Silver, I, I think I probably buy more wards... Uh, you know, when I was playing in silver and gold, then I do... No, that's not true. I, I, I'm, like, thinking about how ridiculous of a statement that is. I actually buy a lot of wards. Um, and you guys can see that in my games. If I'm playing... If I'm planning on, uh, roaming a lot. If the game's going pretty well for my team, um, I don't actually... I probably don't buy as many wards as when, um, I really feel like I need to carry. Uh, just because, um... Oh, right here was pretty scary, but... I just kind of had to trust that the greed was uh, was good, and then uh, or the greed wasn't good. And I was right because I was able to uh, kill him with the bleed stacks there. Um, but yeah, so I buy a lot of wards, especially uh, with how I've been playing top lane recently, uh, which is uh, I do a lot of proxying, I do a lot of um, roaming if I can, I do a lot of lane shutdown. Which um, so for those things, proxying you need to be able to see if the jungler is coming. Uh, lane shutdown you need to be able to. Um, kind of forewarn your teammates, you know, because you can ping all you want, but they're not going to believe it until they actually see the champion straight in their face. That's just kind of how it is. Um, and then if I'm roaming, of course, I need to see wards. Uh, I need wards to kind of uh, get a general idea of what I should be doing with my roam, whether I should be going to take their buffs, whether I should be going to take their rates and their double golems, whether I should be going mid, you know, you need to really uh, ward up the area just so, like, you don't get counter ganked, things like that. Um, also, one thing... Uh, a buddy of mine, a uh, streamer, you know, big inspiration for me. Uh, he, I used to watch his stream all the time. I mean, I don't have as so much time now to uh, watch his stream, you know, because I'm busy with school and YouTube and, you know, all that. Um, but he's currently pushing to try and become a partner on Twitch.tv, uh, which, if you guys don't know, it's actually pretty hard to become a partner. But I definitely think if there's anybody, um, you know, who's not partnered that deserves it, it's this guy. So um, I'm going to be plugging his, uh, his stream in a few of my videos. Um, just because he's really making a, a strong push for it. Uh, his name is HGA Tension. You guys probably, um, you know, if you've been around my channel for a while, you've probably seen me either play with him or um, if you've, uh, you might have even come from his stream. Uh, you know, he's he's never shy to, uh, you know, help out uh, followers, subscribers, even just viewers. Um, he's one of the nicest streamers I've ever met. Um, 
and he's just a he's just like a, a solid like role model when it comes to streaming and content creation. So um, I'll have a link in the description. I'll have an annotation on the screen. I'll probably have an annotation on the screen for the whole video, um, and I'll be uh, throwing uh, throwing his stream into a few of my videos. Um, just because I really think you guys should check it out. He streams frequently. He doesn't stream. Uh, he. He doesn't stream a whole lot of League, but he streams a lot of different games. And if you guys need, like, a resource for finding good indie games, like, his stream is definitely the place to be. Um, he does a lot of giveaways. Um, he interacts with his fans all the time. Like, I can't really talk this guy up enough. Like, he's, he's, he's a really great streamer, so you guys should definitely check it out. If you follow me on Twitter, um, I usually... Uh, I try my best to either retweet him or uh, tweet when he's streaming. Uh, but of course, you know, if you want to guarantee know when he's streaming, just go follow him on uh, his Twitch and his Twitter. So, yeah, back to the game. Uh, I get myself a Sunfire Cape and I get myself a Ruby Crystal, which, if you guys know anything about this game, you'll know that I'm building um, a Black Cleaver because I've got the Brutalizer and the Ruby Crystal. I'm pretty safe to say I'm going to build in there. If you look at right now, I've got 13480, which isn't a whole lot, but that's going to make it so I've got one, you know, uh, 560 or so max damage on my ult. So uh, right here, I tried so hard to save the Veigar. He flashed away from the Riven Ultimate. So um, that was really good because I actually flash pulled to try and disrupt so that Veigar could uh, um, do some work on the Riven because he's actually been rolling this Riven in lane. So I was really, really proud of him because when he picked uh, uh, Veigar into Riven, I was a little worried, but um, it ended up working out really, really well for him. So, um, you know, kudos for that. Um, uh, no, 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 he, he first picked uh, Veigar, I think. Yeah, yeah, he first picked Veigar and then they picked Riven, and so we were like, uh-oh. Um, but so I've got the uh, I've got the timer here. I know you guys can't see, but I actually post timers and I post strategy in chat a lot, unless I just have a really negative team that I just mute all my teammates, like I've told you guys to do before. Um, but unfortunately, the it seems like the replays don't actually pick it up, so I don't know why that is. But um, I don't know how that worked out. There. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I like went full dumb dumb mode there. But um, either way. Um, you know, the game is coming to a close here pretty soon. This is a, in case you guys didn't know, it's a, I couldn't tell. This is a 20 minute surrender. Um, but, you know, I thought it was a, a, a pretty good game that I could just uh, kind of throw up to um, uh, pass the time here because it's just a pretty standard, you know, two lanes destroy and then the other lane does pretty well and then you kind of transition that into uh, the rest of the game. Um, I didn't roam as much as I thought I did, but uh, I definitely am going to be putting up some games where um, I roam a lot more. Right there, little patience I showed. I could have ulted her or killed her a lot sooner, but, um, you know, you want to make sure that you're saving that ultimate for when you need it. And um, you guys should check out my other how to get out of silver uh, slash bronze videos. I've got a fizz one. I think I have another Darius one. I, can't, I think that was my second one. So uh, I've got two Darius videos so far. I actually have a 100% win rate in rank right now with Darius. So it's looking like I'm going to play my uh, next promotion game with Darius just to kind of see if I can press my luck because I'm 2-2 in promotions. Uh, Renekton's been causing me a little bit of struggle. Um, you know, I... I destroy landing phase, I do good roaming, but um, I don't think I should play Renekton until, uh, until maybe I get a little higher, uh, just because um, it's, it, I don't know, I just haven't had the best luck with him, so um, I think I'm, I might shelf, uh, shelf Renekton for a while, but that is the surrender coming from the enemy team. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave that like rating, uh, comment what you guys think about these videos. And uh, be sure to check out Tenchi's stream, uh, twitch.tv slash hjtenchi. I'll have a link on in the description and a link on the screen in an annotation. And uh, yeah, so you guys are the best. And as always, guys, stay classy and keep winning.